Hey guys, welcome back to Empower In. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. And welcome to Motivation Monday. In this Motivation Monday, we're going to be talking about your to-do list and why you should apply the 80-20 rule to your to-do list. So there is a concept from the book Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy that says 20% of the things that you do are responsible for 80% of your results. So the key is to find the 20% of things that will give you 80% of your results. So I do this a lot of times. What I do is I write my to-do list and then I take a step back. It's usually like just like a deep breath. And then I look at the list and then I think about what completing each of those things will give me. And then, so what I do is then I prioritize the list. And it's really good to actually put the hardest thing first, just so you can get that out of the way and feel like really accomplished for the day. So I will put the hardest thing first, that will give me the, the best results. And then, you know, look at the other things Critically, sometimes we overestimate just how much time and focus and energy we can apply towards something. And then if we don't finish our list, we can start to feel bad about not finishing it when ultimately we only really needed to do like the top two things anyways. <laughs> Does that make sense? Just for example, as a nursing student, there were often times when I would put things on my to-do list that were not due until weeks away just because I wanted to think about it. But by having it on my to-do list, it was like distracting me because I was getting stressed out because I wasn't, wasn't putting any energy towards that. When I started to just put things on my calendar and then use the 80-20 rule with my list, I started to get a lot more done because I was able to only put the highest priority things on my list that were, you know, achievable to do in that time frame. And by completing the list, I felt a lot more confident. So guys, this is a quick tip for your Motivation Monday, but I hope that it is a good tip for you to start using right away. Evaluate your list and make sure that each thing on the list is going to give you a huge result. If not, see if you can mix it all together or at least decrease the presence of it on your list. <laughs> All right, guys, can't wait to see you next week for Motivation Monday. I love you so much. Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time for the weekly nursing free huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school prep preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes Sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the Dean's List. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.